Whether to install Kubernetes over bare metal or virtual machine has been a discussion for long. This classification considers how performant our pods will be if we are using talco intensive input output workloads. Uh, in this first classification, we are just considering CPU and memory, we are not considering the networking. So, the most basic set setup will be to simply install Kubernetes over bare metal. In this case, our workloads, our, work loads, our pods, will be using uh, shared resources. They will, be, they will be sharing the physical resources among them. So, we are going to get a good performance, but not the optimal one. If we want uh, to get the maximum performance for, for our pods, we need to give them dedicated resources. In this case, what we are doing is to, to install an EPA uh, Kubernetes over bare metal. In this, uh, so our pods are going to be using dedicated resources to, to run. If we go to a virtual machine, we have to consider that going through an hypervisor implies that we are going to be using emulated resources, okay? And in top of those emulated resources, we are installing a Kubernetes. And this Kubernetes is going to make our pods to share those emulated resources. So we have like two levels uh, that our workload has to go through. We have Kubernetes sharing the resources, and at the same time, the hypervisor making these emulated resources to share the physical resources with other VMs we may have in the system. So it's not a good performance uh, setup. We could be tempted to install an EPA Kubernetes over a VM because we will be removing one of these two levels. But the thing is that we still will be using emulated resources that we are going to be sharing with other VMs in our, in our server. So it's not going to be a good performance one but at the same time, as we are pinning uh, the emulated resources to the pods, this implies that it's going to be less efficient in terms of uh, hardware usage. We are dedicating these emulated resources, and therefore we are going to be able to run less pods in, in, this, uh, in these nodes. How do we overcome the problem of using uh, VMs? If uh, we use CPA VMs, if we, we use uh, CPU pinning and new pages for our VM, our VM will perform as if we were using a, a bare metal server. Okay, so if we install a Kubernetes over an EPA, B, uh, EPA VM, this case, it will be an equivalent case to this one. It will be again a medium performance since our pods will be sharing the physical resources. Okay. And in an equivalent one uh, case to this one, if we install an EPA Kubernetes of an EPA VM, our pods will be using dedicated physical resources because the VM has physical resources that we are getting through the pinning and our pods are getting those resources also pinned. So uh, they are going to get the maximum uh, performance available in our system. We have to say that although these two cases are equivalent to these two regarding how our how performant our pods are. In terms of efficiency of our hardware, going over VMs is not as efficient because these VMs, just the operating system for these VMs, are gonna uh, consume CPU and, and memory. So the pods are gonna run the same, but uh, the, the efficiency of the system will not be the same.